everything wrong that's happening in a society right now can be understood if we realize just one simple thing. The education system is a failed factory. In a factory, the assembly line workers are controlled by ringing bells. The bells indicate either lunch or a change in shift. The workers are answerable to their instructors. The instructor's job is to make sure the workers do not ask too many questions and continue to follow rules without using their own brain. Raw materials are put through exactly the same kind of conditions and turned into finished products. The finished products are then finally tested. The ones that pass the test are stamped OK and the ones which fail are passed off as defects. The products that pass the test are then neatly packed up in boxes and are called batches of products. If you think about it, such a factory is not bad if it continuously produces good products that are profitable. In fact, it is an efficient way to increase human productivity. The real problem is that the Indian education system is a failed factory. The number of rotten products has far exceeded the number of valuable products. Cute little kids with creative minds are neatly packed in uniforms and sent to schools in the hope that they will come out as better, polished and educated human beings. But what happens? After years of training and factory-like treatment, the kids come out as zombies. Their original thinking is killed in a systematic manner. Their creativity and critical thinking are killed in a systematic manner. They do not have any hunger for real knowledge and information. They are useless, they are depressed, they are dead from inside. These zombies are unskilled and are unable to acquire new skills. The education system has made sure that they remain talentless. They are not only unemployed, but also unemployable. They sit at home all day and consume content. They are addicted to drugs, alcohol, nicotine, social media, porn and television. They consume useless TV debates filled with lies, hatred and misinformation. Even the people in these debates are branded zombies. Useless products of the system. Another important trait present in these zombies is their online political activity. They are extremely political on the internet. Right-wingers, left-wingers, centrists, they are all branded zombies, unable to think for themselves and are dead from inside. Yes, there are a few good products of the system, but they are good not because of the system. They are good despite it. They are survivors of the system. Some of these talented people leave the country and prefer to slave away their youth abroad, leading to the great Indian brain drain. These people are used by big tech companies and work hard day and night to please their masters. In return, they get a better standard of life, exactly how slaves were used in colonial times. The greatest minds, however, are still in India. Such geniuses are hated like crazy by the zombies. Everyone gets jealous of them. The zombies take pleasure in crucifying such people and try hard to bring them down. The typical crab mentality of Indians. The unrest in the country, the political extremism, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, excessive social media consumption, depression, everything that we are seeing all around us is nothing but a result of decades of mass production of these zombies. The zombies have far outnumbered the original thinkers in the country and are nothing but useless products of a useless education system in a rotting society. Thank you.